One of my favorite real-life design inferences involves the Bernie Madoff scandal. One of my favorite real-life design inferences involves the Bernie Madoff scandal. So Bernie Madoff was on Wall Street and he was running this Ponzi scheme and uh, he was defrauding people as in, in, in the end it was $65 billion that he had uh, supposedly under management that, that he had uh, built people out of. And um, there was a uh, quant on Wall Street or off Wall Street, I think he was in Boston, named Harry Markopoulos. And he saw instantly that this was a, uh, was a Ponzi scheme. And what he looked at basically was, he said, what, what made Madoff so tricky and why people gravitated to him is people are very lo loss averse. They don't want to lose stuff. And what he did was, he didn't have the best performance in terms of overall returns in the business, but it was rock solid. It was, he, it was, he virtually never had a downturn. And so he would go, I think uh, there was one instance where I think in 89 months, he had maybe three downturns or something like this. And uh, Markopoulos looked at that and said, now, if you look at even the best performance, you know, on S&P indexes, you know, it was like uh, over an 89 month period, you might see a third going down. And, you know, so having, so that would be probably about 30 or 29, and he only had three. And so basically then you just do a simple math calculation, you're doing a binomial. And so you're, the improbability of being able to stay, stay that rock solid uh, was in the tens of billions, one in 10, 10 one, I think it was one in 50 billion or so. And then when you did the analysis uh, for still more months, it was, it was even smaller than that. But what was, what was the pattern there? What was this stability? You know, it was that just having three or fewer in 89 um, uh, losses. And the improbability of that was just huge. So he spotted in four minutes that this was a Ponzi scheme, just doing a mental calculation. So that's that's kind of a, that's an example of these these design inferences in action, where you know you you do a mental calculation, you say, wait a second, this is way too improbable. This is the pattern that's being matched, and um, you know that's uh, and then it, it it comes together. Uh, I'll go out on a limb here, and you may want to uh, may want to edit this, but. Um, you know, there could be telltale signs in the COVID virus that it was humanly manufactured. So there, there are things that humans do that nature won't do. Uh, you know, we know this. I mean, Craig Venter has his synthetic genomics uh, where he would input into the DNA of various organisms things about, I mean, I think his own names, names of his collaborators, uh, you know, things that, that would not happen naturally, right? Would not happen by chance. Uh, so there could be, could be things that are telltale signs of design there. So, uh, so but uh, in, in so many instances, I mean, search for extraterrestrial intelligence, if we get a signal uh, from outer space, uh, the movie Contact, for instance, was a long sequence of prime numbers coming from outer space. That would have convinced radio astronomers that they were dealing with an intelligence. Highly improbable that you're going to get a long sequence of numbers that match up with the primes. The, the match with the primes, prime numbers are numbers divisible only by themselves in one. So that's that's the pattern, and it's going to be highly improbable if you have a long sequence. Now, if you only have a short sequence, you know, of, uh, if you recall the movie Contact, there were it, uh, a sequence of prime numbers came in through in a series of beats and pauses. So it would have been one, one, zero, one, 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 zero, one, 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 zero, and so on. Uh, but if you just had one, one, zero, that's three bits of information. That's a probability of one in eight. You're not going to contact the New York Times science editor and say, we found signs of extraterrestrial intelligence. They've given us a random event of probability one in eight. But if it's one in you know, 10 to the 30, you know, one in a trillion, 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 then things 
start getting dicey and then you'd have reason to suspect that you're dealing with an alien intelligence. Nothing like that's ever been discovered, of course. I mean, SETI, is, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence is still a search. It's not, uh, it hasn't found the, uh, the signs of intelligence. Mm -hmm.